Hi folks, Jason Webster here, agronomist with Precision Planning. I'm working in the office today and trying to get my head around some of the on-farm agronomic trials that we conducted this past year. I'm just running some numbers and I'm trying to understand what worked and what didn't. One of the things I've, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to evaluate today is my current nitrogen program that I implement on my own farming operation as well as many of the on-farm trials that we do for precision planning. For the past number of years, my preferred way of applying nitrogen for corn has been a split application based on a program where I apply 50% of my nitrogen as a weed and feed, pre-plant incorporated with my herbicide, and then the other half is a side dress application. This has worked really well in the past, and I've really been happy with, with the results, but I feel like we always need to be cognizant of, of challenging the status quo. In other words, in order for me to fully understand if my preferred methods of nitrogen placement is the best way possible, I need to compare myself to other nitrogen programs. In our farming operation, I, I guess I've never had the opportunity to apply nitrogen on the planter due to the fact that we just didn't have the right setup to apply liquid nitrogen. That all changed this year. We got our planter all set up with liquid tanks, pumps, and the right planter attachments. And I went to the field with various different nitrogen programs. In doing this, it gave me the ability to evaluate yield differences based upon how I placed my nitrogen. All right, let's take a look at the data. Here's a data graph where I've tabulated all the different yields with the various nitrogen programs I implemented this past spring. Notice my preferred method of application is right in the middle of the graph. It's represented by the blue bar. This tells me that I was just average, just kind of middle of the pack. Sure, I beat about half the programs I tested, but to tell you the truth, I also got crushed by half of them as well. Let's take a look at those that beat me. Here's my nitrogen program compared to those that perform better. Let's look at the top performer. This year, my best nitrogen program was a three-way nitrogen application that consisted of 25% as a weed and feed, 25% on the planter, and 50% as a side dress application. Second was eliminating the weed and feed completely and going to a 75% with the planter and 25% as a side dress. The next best was once again eliminating the weed and feed and going 50% with the planter and 50% as a side dress. All right, in fourth, is an interesting one. Here's where we evaluated placement as well as rate. Now this is a 25% nitrogen reduction applied as 25% on the planter and 50% as a side dress. This makes me wonder about the benefits of high concentrated bands of nutrients near the row and the efficiencies it can offer. Finally, the last nitrogen treatment better than my program was 100% of my nitrogen applied with the planter. This program offered just a bit of improvement as a single at plant treatment than my preferred application. To summarize, I guess as I look at the data, I got beat. <laughs> the best nitrogen program beat me by nearly 20 bushels per acre. I look at this data and I realize I left money on the table. How much? Let's convert yield gains to dollars per acre. Those 20 bushel yield gains at 350 corn would be almost $70 an acre. In my opinion, I have to do better. So where do we go from here? Well, I'm gonna keep evaluating myself and, and comparing myself to the status quo, but in the meantime, I wanna figure out how I can implement a portion of my nitrogen that I apply on the planter. Sure looks to me like a planter applied nitrogen program is offering some sound benefits, and I'm really excited about improving corn yields and profitability with that type of a program in the future. Mm -hmm.